Hi everyone, welcome to Draftscapes, I'm Chris Tuccio. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to use an architect scale and an engineer scale to draft measured drawings for your landscape design plans. Stick around. Hi everyone, welcome back. So if you're at all serious about becoming a landscape designer, landscape architect or garden designer, at some point you're gonna to wanna to learn how to draw in scale. There are essentially two types of scales, architect scales and engineer scales. Now, architect scales are really good for doing small sites or residential properties where you want a lot of detail, and engineer scales are really good for larger sites like landscape architects typically work on, where you want a larger macro look at the environment that you're designing. We're gonna look at both in detail today. So, if you grab your different scales. Uh, let's throw it up in the air and let's get started. Okay everyone, so I will put a link in the description for the different scales that I'm using, but you should basically feel free or comfortable to get any scale that's designated as an architect's or an engineer's scale. I'm using an architect's to start. We're gonna start with architectural scale. Most professional ones will come in this sort of triangular format that you see here. Okay, and so each of the three sides that you see actually has two edges on it um, with two different scales. Um, so you'll get um, three sides, uh, each side has a scale, and then the scales also run from uh, left to right, and then also from right to left. And the scales are indicated with these little notations here. So here you can see it says one quarter of an inch, and on the left it says one eighth of an inch. So the eighth inch scale runs left to right, the quarter inch scale runs right to left. If I flip it around to the other edge, uh, you'll see that you have a one inch scale. So this is just the standard one inch equals one foot. And then on the other side, you'll see it's a half inch. Um, so, and that runs uh, right to left. So an architect's acts, uh, an architect scale actually has 12 total scales on it. Okay, so if we just take a second and we look, okay, if I take just the basic ruler, and this is a little tape measure that I had uh, in my little shop, and we measure it um, uh, out, uh, you can see that it it's equates exactly. Half inch equals one half inch to a standard ruler. So uh, this is based in imperial units. Um, so uh, there's, there's no conversion here, there's no changing the scale, the scale is, is what it is. And uh, these are primarily used for uh, smaller scale sites, uh, residential properties where we want a fair amount of detail. So if I'm using this, uh, and let's say that I'm going to be using my half inch scale, so if I just try and focus it a little better. Um, if I'm using my half inch scale, um, I'm gonna start from that zero uh, right here, and I'm gonna work uh, right to left. So I'll lay it on my drawing. Let's say that I want a line or some sort of edge uh, to be uh, four feet wide, uh, okay, or four feet long and in half inch scale. I'm gonna use my scale, here's uh, the half inch. So I'm at the right point. I start at the zero and then I'll simply hold and then I'll draw from the zero to the four, okay? And that's indicating that that line is four feet, okay? Now, let's say that I was using a different scale, and let's say I had this line as existing. So this was an existing line with the two edges uh, that you see there. Uh, but let's say that instead I was at a quarter scale, quarter inch scale. So I'll flip to the, the quarter inch scale really quickly. Okay, and if I wanted to measure this with the quarter inch scale, I'd simply line up the zero with the end of the line, and then I'd measure, okay, zero, that's the quarter inch scale right there. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so I know this line at quarter inch scale is eight feet. So uh, with the architect scale, I can use any particular scale within the inch format that I want. And then I can also draw lines as well as measure lines to a particular dimension. So uh, the scale works uh, really well, it's very easy to utilize, and it's very handy. Okay, so that's a, a simple architect scale. Now let's move on to the engineer's scale. 
Okay, so next uh, let's take a look at our engineer scale. The engineer scale is made in the same fashion as the architect scale, but it has different numbers on it. You'll see the numbers uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, all the way up to 60 along the left hand side. Um, now these are actually unitless numbers, meaning that they're just numbers. They don't actually mean anything unless the designer specifies uh, what they actually mean. Um, and with this, uh, so let's say we're looking at uh, the 10 scale now, I could say, okay, this is at 10 scale, meaning that one inch equals 10 feet. And if I'm at 10 scale, you'll see 0, 1, 2, 3, those numbers uh, from uh, left to right. If I take my um, little tape measure again, you'll notice that the one inch uh, lines up perfectly with the one of the uh, scale. So what that's saying is one actual inch equals uh, that 10 feet. So one inch equals 10 feet. So the um, actual scale does a lot of the work for you. Um, if I'm in 20 scale, so let me flip it around. If I'm in 20 scale, here this indicates, okay, one to 20 scale that one inch equals 20 feet. So now you'll see if I get my tape measure out again, okay, that one inch is equal to the zero to two, meaning that's equal to 20, okay? And you can imagine, okay, so now if I go to my 30 or 40 scale, let's go to 40 scale, I'll just flip it over like this. The 40 scale means that one inch equals 40 feet. And so you're gonna imagine, you can see, okay, I'm gonna guess that one inch is gonna go to the four, zero to four. And if I get my little handy ruler out again, uh, you'll see that it matches up perfectly. So. What this allows you to do, the engineer scale, I uh, just shook the table a little. Uh, what this allows you to do is to not have to actually calculate anything in your mind. If I'm at 40 scale, let's say, that means that one inch equals 40 feet. So I can actually measure, okay, zero, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I don't have to do any calculations in my head. It's all laid out on the scale already for me, which is a nice feature of the engineer scale. Another really great uh, feature of the engineer scale, I'm going to go back to the 10 scale here, is that the numbers, because they're unitless, they're not linked up to any sort of imperial format. So with the architect scale, we had quarter inch, half inch, one inch. Um, those were hooked up to a particular calibration of the imperial units. We had to be at half inch. We couldn't go anything other than half inch at half inch scale. Here, we have the option to actually increase by a multiple of 10 our scale by using the same scale. So if I was to say, okay, I don't want to be at 10 scale, I want to be at 100 scale, where one inch equals 100 feet. I could still use the 100 scale. I just, in my head, calculate that I'm adding a zero to each one. So this would now no longer, if I'm at 100 scale, so one inch equals uh, 100, um, that means here that the zero to one would indicate 100, not 10. And I'd just be able to calculate that very quickly in my head. So this would be 0, 100, 200, 300, 400. If I even wanted to go, and I, you'd probably usually not do this, but if I wanted to go to 1,000, 1 inch equals 1,000. So 1 inch equals 1, 0, 0, 0. This 0 to 1 would equal 0 to 1,000, meaning 1 inch equals 1,000. And the same is true for the 20 scale, 30 scale, uh, 40, all the way down to 60. So let's say that I'm on my 20 scale. We'll use 20 scale as an example, okay? And I want to draw a line. I'm at 20 scale, so that means one inch equals 20 feet. And I wanted to draw a line that was uh, 60 feet long, okay? Well, I have my zero here. I count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and then I pull my line uh, from 60 to zero. Okay, now I have a line that's actually 60 feet long. So you can see using the engineer scale or the architect scales is quite simple, quite easy. Um, doesn't take that long to use. You can draw and measure lines with both. Um, as you practice, you'll find preference with either one. For most landscape architects, you're going to see that you're going to be using mostly the eng uh, for engineer scales, for larger plans, for landscape designers, for residential properties. You'll primarily use an architect scale probably, but they're very interchangeable. So uh, do make sure that you get comfortable using both. Again, they're very valuable tools. Okay, so if you like the video and you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button below 
And also head over to draftscapes.com. We're going to see a number of other articles and resources for landscape design and landscape architecture. Okay, I'll see you at the next video.